Backing up your data is a smart idea just in case. Losing everything is never fun. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are a few solutions for how you can back up your Android smartphone. Earlier this week, I went over several different ways you can back up your iPhone. If you're an Android user, you're also in luck. There are plenty of options for syncing all of your information from Android. The first time you turn on your device, you are prompted to sign into your Google account. From there, you are given the option to sync all sorts of different content, calendars, Drive, Gmail, contacts, and even pictures to Google+. But on the background, Google also syncs your Wi-Fi passwords and all sorts of other information, and it's a little ambiguous. You can't really tell up front exactly what's being synced, and you can't control it. You can either turn it off or on, and there's no way to pick and choose beyond the account syncs. All of your purchased and previously downloaded applications are in the Play Store. Anything you purchase from Google Play as far as movies, music or anything else are also stored in the cloud. Your contacts are also synced through Google, and if you choose, you can also export those contacts directly to your phone storage, and you can import contacts that have previously been exported. Google's social network allows you to instantly upload your pictures, and those pictures can also be synced to your photo album. But like on iOS, you can also sync your information elsewhere. I personally use Dropbox to upload all of the pictures taken with my phone's camera. The main idea behind Google's backup options is that when you buy a new phone, the first time you turn it on, all you have to do is log into your Google account and all of your information is there. Contacts, calendars, you name it. But custom interfaces and modifications tend to make Google's backup options go haywire. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and it hasn't always been exactly reliable. An age-old and probably the most reliable way to back up your Android phone is called an Android backup. It requires root access and a custom recovery, something to the effect of Clockwork Mod, and all you have to do is reboot your phone into recovery, find the backup and restore option, and choose either backup or backup to an external SD card. Hit the power button to select and wait. It may take forever to back up, but the benefit of this is that when you need it, all you have to do is go back into the recovery and restore the image. It may also take a lot of time, but it restores the phone exactly to how it was before. A problem with Nandroid is that, say you don't need to restore the entire image, all you need is the application data or something to that effect. That's where Titanium comes into play. Problem is, it also requires root access. If your phone is not rooted, you can't use Titanium and you can't use it to back up your applications. So it is effectively useless to anyone who isn't rooted. However, there is actually a new application that is also from the people who created Clockwork Mod. It is called Carbon, not to be mistaken with the Twitter application, and it backs up all of your applications and your app application data and stores it to drive a computer or a local storage. You can also schedule backups to happen whenever you need them. This takes a little time as well, especially if you have a lot of applications, but it does the trick. You're not going to lose any of your applications if you back up using Carbon. There is a light version of Carbon that is free, or you can buy the premium version for $4.99. Clearly, when it comes to backing up Android devices, there's no shortage of options. There are options for root users, people who aren't rooted, and everyone in between. Google's built-in options do pretty well. There's no reason to worry about losing contacts, and your pictures are uploaded directly to Google+, so they're safe as well. But if you need more, such as application backup with data, or even a system image, there's an option for you. If this video helped, be sure to click the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to follow us on all of our social networks, Google Plus at Plus Pocket Now, Facebook.com slash Pocket Now, or Twitter at Pocket Now Tweets. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.